good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic of uh, great expectation and excitement. Of course, this is one of the newer of the major venues here in Sao Paulo. It is the Arena Corinthians. A moment of great pride, the Anthems. Strains of the national anthem of Brazil. seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. What is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The girl and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here. Great leap! Decent it up. Daniel Alves. Battles to win it back. Neves. Daniel Alves. Plays it forward. Firmino. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Forward it goes. He's looking to get there first. Felipe Luis tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Neves. Firmino. Brazil take the lead. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. He's left his man. It's a quick... Can he put it away? It's come back out. Drills one in. Melo gets good distance on it. Philippe Coutinho. He's pinged one through here. Richarlison shoots! Really well taken goal, and already they're looking to run away with it. Smartly deceptive, what quality. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land.
Brazil take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Venezuela have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt. It's Milo! Lobs it in gently. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Venezuela just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Chip through. Rondon. And he's going long. And it's hoisted clear. And it's been taken straight back. Looking for space out wide, Murillo. And he just whacks it away. And that'll be the final action of the first half. How would you review the first half? Brazil are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Brazil in control at half-time, 2-0. The game has already resumed here. Rondon. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Well, he was thinking about Richarlison! They are rampant! And they are cruising away. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Brazil take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Aimed long and direct. It's gone for a throw-in. Tries to stroke it through. Here comes the corner. by poor finishing. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. Philippe Coutinho. Incoming cross. Danger averted for now. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. He hits it! Saved. That's good keeping. Casemiro certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. He spotted the run and played it through. Going through. Fires it. He's had a shot. It's a goal. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to apply. So is this the start of a comeback? Richarlison. Tries to dink it in. It's William! And in it goes! Oh, how 
goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Oh, you've got to love that. Concentration, conviction, contact and sheer class. What the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy the best effect. What an introduction. So now the difference is three. Milo with a good steal, well played. Looking to break out here. Oh, it's Philip. Shot a goal! What about it? Over the hills and far away. No catching them now. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Well, no question now as to who is in control. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Rondon, he's got away. He'll have a tip. They've done it. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Well, they have a goal, but it is surely too much to hope for a comeback. Now it's William. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Forward it goes. Tries lifting it over. And he's there to hoof it away. That's been levered clear. Hoists it high. Shot has a swing at it. And that really should have hit. Two minutes to be added on. Danny Alves plays it forward. And he's been judged offside. He's got good distance on that. There is the final whistle. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in...